The streets are empty but hospitals in London are filling up to the extent that health officials describe the registration of new gases as continuous tsunami while the UK wide deaths mounted to 463 and 9,529 cases to 3,249 of them in London. A new 4,000 bed hospital is coming up near Canary Wharf in East London in the Excel Centre called the NHS Nightingale Hospital took off with the crisis. Military personnel are involved in setting up besides delivering crucial protection equipment to hospitals across the UK. Chris Hobson, Chief Executive of NHS, provides us which represents heads of NHS Hospital Trust said that hospitals were also grappling with increasing percentage of medical staff reporting sick or isolating due to symptoms of coronavirus. He told the BBC they are struggling with the explosion of demand in seriously ill patients. They are saying it's the number arriving and the speed with which they are arriving and how ill they are. They talk about wave after wave after wave. The words that are used to me are that it's a continuous tsunami. The CEOs are concerned that all extra capacity is now being used up very, very quickly. We have got the surge capacity at the Excel Center, but this is filling up very quickly. As the UK's health infrastructure and personal combat with the invisible enemy, Prime Minister Boris Johnson and his colleagues announced that over 5 lakh people have volunteered to help with non-medical tasks. Thousands of retired doctors and nurses have also rejoined the NHS. Johnson said when he launched the Apple for volunteers, we hope to get 2,550 lakhs over a few days. But I can tell you that in just 24 hours, 4,500 people have registered themselves as responded to the calls. They'll be driving medicines from pharmacies to patients. They'll be bringing patients home from hospital. Very important is they'll be making up regular phone calls to check on the support system who are saying on at their home and they'll be absolutely crucial in the fight against this. The UK parliamentary closed on Wednesday night after passing legislation arming government with more powers to deal with the pandemic.